Hello my revivors, today I'm going to be sharing with you my tasty, tasty moist carrot cake and we're going to start off by telling you everything that I have here. So let's begin. Alright guys, so this is my bunt pan of choice and I will be cutting this in half to make it a two layer cake. I just sprayed it with some cooking spray and I also coated it with flour. I also have my oven at 350 degrees. So let's get to what's inside this cake. Okay, let's get started with listing everything in the recipe. If you miss something, make sure you look in the description box because that's where the recipe will be. We're going to start off with one cup of crushed pineapples, one cup of pecans or nuts of your choice, two teaspoons of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of allspice, two teaspoons of baking soda, two cups of flour, four eggs, one cup of brown sugar, one cup of white sugar. I'm using organic sugar and brown sugar. You can also use dark sugar. One cup of oil, two teaspoons of vanilla, one teaspoon of of salt and two cups of finely shredded baby carrots. We're going to start off by adding the dry ingredients. So you're going to add your cinnamon, your baking soda, and your salt. Then you're going to take your whisk to incorporate all of these dry ingredients together and then move to the next step, which is another dry ingredient. But this is the one you want to add in last. Next, you're going to add in your allspice. Then whisk that all together very well. Now it's time for the wet ingredients. You're going to add your oil. Then you're going to add your sugars. After the sugars, you're going to add your vanilla. I love vanilla. I love it, guys. And then it is time for you to take your whisk and whisk those ingredients really well before you go to the next step. It's like a little process, but it's really quick and easy once you get it under your belt. Now, once you get those incorporated, you're supposed to add eggs one at a time. Mines were kind of uh, brutalized in the bowl because I like to take those little white cores out. So that's why they were broken up. But you just don't want to put it all in at one time. So a little bit at a time, just kind of mix it up and do its thing. All right. So that's what I am doing. And then the next step after you blend that very well is you want to make sure that you incorporate all of the wet that I just showed you and we mix together into the dry ingredients that you just mixed together. And you want to do that slowly, just like you did the eggs. You don't want to pour it all in at one time. Then you mix, 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 and then after you get this mix well incorporated, it is time for the next step. And this is basically almost done. So you're going to add your pineapples, you hear me? Pineapples. And then you're going to add your carrots and you're going to mix that up very, very good. And then after that, guys, this will be the last step of what you put inside the mixture and I'm just taking and breaking up my walnuts why because they are really big so I want to break them up and put them inside of my mixture and guess what guys that is basically it that is basically it now it is time for you to get this batter inside that greased and floured pan that I showed you a little bit earlier in the video and then it's time to put this tasty treat in the oven. So that's what I'm getting ready to do is put it inside my bunt pan and put it in the oven. I don't know about you, my revivers, but I try to get every drip drop out of my pans and out of my bowls when I'm baking something. So in the oven, it goes, guys. Okay, it is out the oven. I'm just rocking it back and forth. And you see why I like to put the pan and the flour? It comes out so smooth. So I'll let it sit there for another few minutes. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to ice in this bad boy. Okay, guys. So now it is time for this bad boy to get cut in half. Please don't judge me. Only judge yourself. I was trying to keep the camera in front and do this at a side angle. Guys, I mutilated the cake. But guess what? It wasn't so bad. And it still tastes good. So let's cut this bad boy and get it icing. Okay, now that it has been cut in half, it is time to do our icing. You're going to take eight ounces of cream cheese and you're going to put it in a bowl. Mind you, you had to have this cream cheese sitting throughout the day so it can be softened. So once you blend that really good, you add your vanilla, about a good two teaspoons of vanilla, and then you want to slowly incorporate confection sugar. I did not give you these ingredients because some people don't want the icing. So this is just an extra added bonus for those who like the cream cheese icing. And as you see, I'm just slowly 
slowly, slowly incorporating the frosting inside. You hear me, the frosting, <laughs> the powdered sugar inside of the icing. So you want to make sure that you're keeping everything down in the bowl and getting it all nice and whipped. And once you get the consistency that you enjoy, or if you taste it and you like it where it is, you can leave it alone. But what I like to do is after I get the consistency I like, I like to add some heavy whipping cream. And what it does is make it even fluffier and so tasty. So you see, I'm not adding too much. And then once you get the consistency you want, it is ready to be put on the cake. Yeah, so at this point, when you get this nice fluffy consistency, it is basically done. And that's when you can taste it. Do you see? You know I taste it. Yes, I had to. So let's get this icing on this cake. Listen, let me tell you something. If you make this please let me know how your family enjoyed it this is a great cake that you could make for thanksgiving christmas any a birthday someone's a uh, special occasion it is a tasty cake i like to eat it in the morning <laughs> with my coffee i know it's it's a mess it's a mess but yeah i like to eat it with my coffee i like to eat it at night i like to eat it anywhere like it's just the bomb it's a great tasting cake so i'm going to continue putting the icing on this bad boy and i'm going to I gotta cut it you know I gotta cut it I have to cut this and I have to show you guys what it looks like in the inside so just 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 prepare yourself prepare yourself <laughs> I was trying to make sure I got every piece of icing out of that bowl. As you can see, I was not playing. I was not trying to waste not a drop because it is just that tasty, okay? It is that tasty. And let me just show you how anxious I was to eat this cake, guys. Let me just show you how anxious. What am I missing, y'all? What, what am I missing? I, look, do you see the chunk of cake that I cut? All right, guys, I forgot to put the walnuts on, but as you see, they are there. And every drop of what was in that bowl is also slathered on my piece as well. This tastes so good. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up, share the video. And if you got something you want me to cook, let me know down below. If you're new to my channel, thanks for joining me. And I will see you guys later, Gators.